about 50 in all. They brought them back to school, and by lunchtime, 50 students were wearing pink t-shirts. They made sure that they walked by the bullies who were pestering and mocking the little grade nine student. They made sure the bullies saw that they were in solidarity with the grade nine student. David and Travis both said that the look on the grade nine student was priceless. The look on the little boy that was being bullied was one of gratitude and profound thanks. Pink, the color of a revolution. February 27th, and I thank Carla Scrivens and a few other students for pointing this out to me, is now known as National Stand Up to Bullying Day. I missed it here at St. Paul, but many of you didn't, and I thank you for bringing it to my attention. Next year, we're going to make sure at St. Paul that we do something. I'm going to speak to Mr. Schmidt and Mr. Demetrius to make sure that we recognize this day of nonviolent resistance to bullying. Ms. Greco gave me an article yesterday. 84% of all bullying instances are witnessed by innocent bystanders. That means there are people around who can step up and do something about the bullying. Travis and David, they in Nova Scotia, used their minds and reacted in a way in which the Holy Spirit must have been guiding them. They had a creative response to say, hey, the bullying stops here. We agree with this young grade nine student. Let us give thanks for their example today. Let us uh, give thanks to all people who bravely stand up to bullying. Bullying is uh, a tremendous negative power. All of us have experienced it in our lives. And all of us have, some, have the ability to do something to stop it. So let us give thanks to the life, for the life of these young boys in Nova Scotia, the students who stood up, and let us also uh, pray for an end to all bullying. Let us also pray that we will have the courage to stand up and say no. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Paul, pray for us. I'd like to thank the students who uh, were very good at preparing their Dr. Simone permission sheets. They were all in yesterday. Thank you very much. We will be leaving to go to Dr. Simone's at the end of the St. Paul TV. And uh, thank you to the teachers who gave permission for the students to go. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. St. Paul, my name is Joseph Fernando, and here's your morning news. Uh, a reminder to Mr. Costigan's Period 4 Strength Training Class. We will be leaving at the beginning of Period 4, so that's 1.05 p.m. sharp. Come immediately to the bus, which will be out, of, out in front of the school. We will change when we get to the facility. This is a reminder to all student council members that there will be a meeting on Monday, March the 3rd, right after school. All members must attend. And now for sports. Now for sports, uh, attention to all grade 9 and 10 boys interested in trying out for the boys' junior soccer team. We will be holding our first tryout on Monday, March the 3rd, immediately after school in our gym. Please visit our club website prior to the tryout and bring non-marketing court shoes and your shin guards on Monday. Please see Mr. Atanasio or Mr. Fernandez if you have not previously registered. 
Yesterday at Cawthra Arena, the senior boys hockey team defeated Humberview Huskies by a score of 4 to nothing, with Matthew Rempel and Anthony Pento picking up a goal apiece. Uh, scoring for St. Paul also was John Carlo Viscardi with two goals. For the second straight day, Nick Gutt got the shutout. The boys' next game is the Ropsa Tier 2 semifinal game against St. Joe's on Tuesday at 2 p.m. at Iceland. Uh, there will be a senior boys soccer practice in the gym on Wednesday morning. Players are asked to bring both their running shoes and indoor soccer shoes as they will be running the beep test as well as practicing. Also, this is a reminder to all girls who would like to try out for the slow pitch team. Our tryout is on Tuesday morning at 6.45 a.m. and Wednesday after school at 2.30. Uh, those are all the announcements we have for today. Our song of the day is by Switchfoot and the song is called Stars. That's all from me. Take care, St. Paul. Maybe I